how does land, how does the shape of land affect the water? Okay, so take one minute and write something down in your sign. Take a minute and share with an elbow partner real quick. Gianna. Um, if there's a hill, the water won't be able to get by it and the land will absorb the water. Can you draw that really quick? I did. did. Okay, you're all set. Okay, you're all set. I think it might like, like make a path make through the sand. Or it might go like, through the rocks and make like, a little path. And then it would take longer to get to the delta. So think about where you would like to have your house. Where would you like to build your home? But you need to think about why and what you know. <laughs> I know. What's happening? Oh no. Your house is going to cave in, isn't it? Why? Why is that happening? Because the water is coming down here. Land affecting the water right now. What are you noticing? Um, the, what, the land right here. The rock's in the way. The rock is in the way. And what's it doing? It's pushing off the side and coming over here and making paths down here. It's making its own path. It's a runoff. Oh no, no. It went under the rock. So what do you think over time, if the water is continually flowing under that rock, what do you think is going to happen? It, it might like, be like a big, big path. It might carry all the rocks it might down there. And now it's, down, and now it's down there. So the water can move large boulders. All right, make sure that you record your observations. What do you think about where you chose to build your houses? What one was the best place for the house? Those two. Those two? And why? Because it's on a hill. All the on a hill. And the water can't make it up the hill. And because water flows down. downhill to the water. How did the land affect the water? Remember, you're scientists now. You have to use your science words. First, the water kind of got stuck. The water got stuck at first, but then the water made... What did it do? Then all the... Then it's the Soggy, what's that science word when the land gets soggy? It becomes saturated and it starts to wash away. My house in the corner thinking that the water wouldn't get to it. Wouldn't go that direction because you thought the water was going to go straight like it did in all the other experiments when there weren't hills and rocks. But what happened was my we had a rock in front of it and it went to the sides. And mine was on one of the it got saturated. And it becomes saturated and, and you were a builder and uh, an architect and you wanted to build a house really close to the water. What might you tell those people that, that want to live right on the water? What might you say to them, Naya? Um, you might want to, your house might need to be elevated up on a hill. What else might you say to, say to them? What do you know about the soil components? Well, at, uh, Isaac? Beach, they have giant little bars that go up and they have you can't just say, don't put your house on a cliff. Don't put your house too close to the water. You gotta explain why. What would be your oh, reasoning? Can I have a you guys are good, you're scientists now. How would you explain to them why not to build their house close to the water? Gianna? Um, you might not wanna build close to the water because the water will, might like make a sinkhole and you're 